In this video, we make the decision to get off the dock in Mykonos in some questionable weather. And we soon find that the wind is much stronger than forecast, up to 50 knots. It makes for a long, hard day of sailing, but it sure was exhilarating. Really windy today, 22 average. I've seen gusts up to 34. So, pretty windy. The wind's supposed to slacken off down to like 18 or 19 in about, in about a couple hours. So we're gonna wait till then and then we're gonna go south. I'll show you our course in a minute, but let me show you some stuff on the dock here. So this boat yesterday, we tightened down the lines a little bit and uh, this one was chafing. Chafed all the way through. When we got back last night, that line was broken. So we tied a bolt on it jumped on and tied it off. And then this boat down here this morning is jib unfurled. And uh, before I could go over there, somebody else jumped on and they, they furled it back in. So it's pretty windy out here today. They call it the melt to me winds. It happens, it'll blow like this for a couple days every month or so. But we'll make the best of it. Not, not terrible. Uh, we'll head south and to a calmer anchorage where there's supposed to be a little less wind. So we are here right now in Mykonos and then we're gonna head down here to these islands that are in the wind shadow of Naxos right there because it's just gonna get worse here. This is tomorrow. See, it's gonna be so windy up here even there. We're gonna head down these islands a little bit less wind. Uh, and then Sunday, it's still good down here. And then Monday is Monday. I mean, look, it's back to normal. Good morning! So the wind is blowing almost 19 knots right now and somebody decided to leave, so here we go! On the dock, the wind was averaging 25 knots and that was with a little bit of wind shadow from the hills. Off as far as you can away from the boat. Okay. And then uh, we'll get the stern lines back here. Okay. So this one has more tension than this. The person that's on this one, wait a little bit for this person to get it off. Yeah. Um, the last one I think we're gonna take off is that corner. Just in case we get caught, it'll swing us out. Yeah. So I'll be on this one here. Okay, I'll get that one over there. And you can get the one. Away from the island a little bit, we soon found the winds were much stronger than we thought.
40 out here. The boat was handling the conditions well. We had only less than half our jib out and 40 knots of wind and we're making nine knots. wind speed now is 30 knots, which is manageable. <laughs> I didn't like seeing 40, 45 earlier uh, when we left uh, Mykonos, but I think that was just because the wind was kind of getting filtered around Mykonos a little bit. But, uh, we got about 13 miles to go till we get to the next island and then we can turn into the lee of it basically. I don't think the seas will build up too much between now and then uh, at 30 knots. I mean, you know, that's kind of the great thing about cruising around here is that there's no there's not a thousand miles for the waves to build up. It's only, you know, maybe 15, 20 between islands. Big wave. Woo, that's a big one. Oh yeah. yeah. That was at least a 12 footer. That's a big one. They never come across. All right, this cat needs to. Wind has dropped off to about 23 knots, so we got the uh, head sail, just a little jib. I mean, it's not, I don't know how, how much it is, but 90, 80% jib, because uh, it's self-tacking, uh, so not a whole lot of sail out, but we're still doing seven and a half, eight knots in 23 knots of breeze. Unlike this ferry, it's a, uh, it might be like a foiling type, that's pretty amazing, but he's doing 33 knots in this seas. Now we are uh, in the Lee. This island is called Noxos. It's, it's a pretty big island, um, a very tall island, I should say. So it's really going to give us a wind block on the other side. Plus, the winds are supposed to be less down here south anyway. And uh, nice and sa smooth sailing now. I mean, we're doing seven knots. Uh, we got the jib all the way out, um, and uh, there's 21 knots of wind, uh, and we're doing seven knots. So not bad. Maybe it was a reward to the crew for handling such rough sailing conditions so well, but we saw an absolutely massive pod of dolphins that swam with us for about 10 minutes. In total, it took more than six hours to sail to our destination of Kufo Nisi. We entered the town quay but found that there was no room for us to dock. So we headed out to the very well protected bay right next to it. Kufanisi is a beautiful and popular place in the summer. It has a great beach, lots of bars and restaurants, and the beautiful Greek white architecture.
I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Navigar Yachting for supplying this boat to us to cruise around in Greece. If you'd like to charter this boat or any boat in Greece, go to navigar-yachting.com and use code DOODLE for $300 off your charter. Not interested in Greece? Well, they have plenty of other locations around the world. All right, we made it. Uh, unfortunately, all, a lot of the fishing boats were kind of parked alongside and they kind of really shouldn't be doing that down here. Um, so we couldn't find a spot um, for us. So maybe we'll try again tomorrow. We're planning to stay here a couple days. So we'll uh, maybe head in, you know, maybe wait for all the fishing boats to leave and then move in, take a spot, and then they can med more as well. So anyway, we're gonna go in and find dinner. It's a cool little town. I'm tired after a long day of sailing, so I'm not gonna bring the camera and we're just gonna relax. But thank you guys for watching. We made it, and please click like and subscribe. And what'd you think of the sailing today? Should we have gone out? I don't know, leave a comment down below. Surfing on a way with good feelings. Well, it's just another Friday.